OK, so you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to perform a count if based on a date or a date range. So we'll start with a single date and then the second example will involve this date range. So we're counting the number of purchases in this database. First of all, for the 10th of January 2025. So we're using count if for this because we only have one criteria. The first argument is range, so that's going to be the range of dates. I'm going to click into the first date, control shift down arrow key to select down to the last consecutive date, control backspace to get me back to my formula, comma, criteria. Now you can either reference a cell that contains your date or you can type the date in. So let's just try with referring to the date in a cell. If I close the bracket there, press enter, you can see it returns three and there are three purchases on that particular date. If you want to hard code the date into your formula, you need to put it in quotation marks, otherwise it will not work. Okay, let's do it for a date range. So we've got two criteria here, so we have to use count ifs. So criteria range one, again, would be the date. So click in the first date, control shift down arrow key, control backspace, to get me back to my formula, comma. Now, what we need to do is say that our first criteria is greater than or equal to the start date. So in quotation marks, I type greater than or equal to, and then close the quotation marks. And then I need to join that comparison operator with my start date. And I do that with the ampersand symbol on my keyboard, that's shift and seven on your keyboard, and then I reference this date. So that's my first criteria range and criteria, comma. The second criteria range would be based on the same date range. So I click into A2, control shift down arrow key, control backspace, comma, and criteria range two. Now that will have to be less than or equal to the end date. So again, in quotation marks, the comparison operator, and then an ampersand, and then the end date. Close the bracket at the end, press enter, and I get seven. And if I look in my data set between those two dates, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dates. Now, if I want to hard code the dates into my formula in this example, what I would have to do is put the whole of the criteria within quotation marks. So open quotation marks greater than or equal to, and then I type the date straight into the formula, and then close the quotation marks at the end. And it would be the same here, less than or equal to the 27th of February, 2025. And I would close the quotation marks at the end. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.